day everybody it's your friendly neighborhood youtuber back at it again with another toy review uh today something special has come in the mailbox and we are going to open it up and see what it is i have an idea of what it is but when i was ordering it off of i think it was ebay um the title when i ordered it uh by the picture Okay, so, but underneath the picture, after I ordered it, I realized it said something different under the, uh, under the picture. And I'm wondering if it was that figure that they sent me, or this figure that was in the picture they sent me. So we're going to go ahead and find out. You guys probably already know what it is, because, well, if you read this video, then you know what it is. Me, I do not know what it is. So we're going to go ahead... And open this up because hopefully they sent me the right package. Uh, excuse me, the right figure. Um, because if they didn't and they sent me the other figure that was the name for it, then I already had that figure and I'm going to be pretty disappointed. So uh, this is eBay. This is this is what it's all about. It's all about taking chances. Everybody. So let's pop it open. And yeah, they sent me the right one. Awesome. I was very, very, very wary uh, about that. I was very wary that they were going to send me. Uh, it, it, underneath, it was called uh, The Wings of Redemption Spawn, which I already have, but it was this picture. So somebody had mixed it up, somebody had wrote, wrote it wrong. Uh, underneath uh, the uh, the picture itself. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know what this is? The Creech. Uh, this is not uh, in uh, uh, an, a new figure, but well, it is a new figure right now because it's uh, uh, it's uh, I just got it and it's and it's unpackaged and we're gonna unpackage it here. Uh, today, uh, some of you guys may have this figure, some of you guys may not. Um, this was a, one of the few spawn figures that I did not have uh, in my collection, and I really liked it. Really liked Creech, and um, and I got him for a good deal. What I was going to say uh, before I got uh, tangled up in my words there: uh, this series is one of the best uh, series. Cygor, Heap. Reanimate, reanimated spawn, which I do not have. I'm still looking to get him. Uh, the Creech, of course. Uh, bottom line, it's Hop Gun. Uh, I have Bottom Line, have yet to review that, but I do not have Top Gun. That Cygor 2, I did a review of him. Very, very, very awesome figure. One of the best <laughs> figures I think I've ever, I ever seen and I ever owned. So I'm anxious to get this guy out the box or out the package, should I say, to review him for you guys. So here we go. It came off very, very easily. So the only thing he really comes with is just these things right here, which I think they attach to his uh, arms. So let's pop those out. Okay. So we're making pretty good time. We're already four minutes into this video, so that's not bad. And let's take a look at Creech. And he is really... Oh, I love the smell. The smell of new uh, unpackaged... Or packaged toys, should I say. And yeah, he is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I thought he would be a little bit more heavier, and you can feel he's very, really greasy, like toy greasy, plastic greasy. And... Uh, yeah, he is pretty, pretty cool. I thought he would be a little bit bigger. Um, let's see. Actually, I thought he would be a little bit heavier, too. So, let's put his arms down. And let's pop these things on here. Onto, I guess this one pops in here. And then this one pops in here. Okay, now there's another... Wow, my hands are really, really greasy. Okay, now there's another figure. I'll do a close-up of this uh, for you guys. Um, of, of the Creech, 
Um, it's more statue-esque. This right here, what, uh, this was from, what series this is from? Uh, doesn't say. I know it's from, okay, series 12. Okay. So, we got series 12. Let me come over here and bring this in the light for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I thought I would be a little bit more impressed with this, uh, character. With this figure. And, uh, I do like all the things going on here at the top. Uh, articulation-wise, uh, he doesn't have much articulation, which kind of blows. He does have waist swivel. Uh, his arms do lift up, but they don't extend out, which that kind of blows. And his legs, uh, bend like that. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in the uh, articulation of this figure, guys. I thought he would have a little bit more articulation. Ugh. Let me put this right here. And let me see, what year was this from? I don't know the story of Creech, so I might uh, read up on Creech for you guys. If, you'd, if you're not familiar with Creech, because I'm not familiar with Creech. Let's see, and his arms don't twist at all? Well, somewhat. Shit. Hmm, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed with the lack of articulation with this figure, but then again, he's a spawn figure. But one thing I was going to look at, let's see, is what year this was. So this was 1998, okay, 1998, well, let's see. 1998. So it's a 1998 figure. So this was four years after the original uh, Spawn figures came out. But yeah, I thought there would be more to this figure. Um, I do like, well, his hair can pretty much bend out every which way. So that's, that's kind of awesome. His hair is on bendy wire. So I kind of like that. Well, at least he does have some articulation in his hair. That's always a good thing, right? I do love these tentacles here. His dreadlocks or whatever whatever you want to call them. There we go. It looks a little bit better now. So let's go into detail with this guy. And then I'm going to read up on the story of, of Creech and uh, what he's about. Uh, overall, very, very nice detail. Um, I wish there were a little bit more blemishes, you know, on here, like he was, like, battle-ravaged. Uh, but everything just kind of looks crystal clean, crystal clear, which is not bad. Um, yeah, he's a very nice figure overall, but you can definitely tell he, he is a little bit dated because of the lack of articulation. And you can tell that he is a 90s figure. But overall, he's very cool. I wish he had a little bit more color on him uh, other than the dark green and the burgundy red, you know. So, let's see. I guess he, st he would stand like that, right? Okay, let's read up on the story of Creech. Okay, all right. The Creech is a massive powerhouse genetically engineered to be a super soldier for a secret agenda, but the Creech has an agenda of his own. He seeks to find out why his world was turned inside out. Who ripped the choice of a normal life from his soul and declared it their own? His questions will not come without pain. The answers will only bring tragedy. Uh, sounds like Creech could have his own movie. Oh, yeah, his, okay, his fists, do they do turn like that? Okay, well, that's kind of a, that's, I actually kind of like it like that. I mean, if you turn his fist, you can see the detail on it. He kind of has like a, like two infinity gauntlets on his hands. Um, not bad. I thought I would be a little bit more impressed, guys. Um... 
you know, I, I saw this uh, figure on, uh, you know, uh, people doing other reviews. Well, actually, I don't know if I ever did. I think I've seen maybe some reviews on, on Creech. Um, but hold it in my hand, you know, see him in a package. You know, I've said this many times. When you see him in a package and then you hold him in your hand, it's a completely different experience. So, you know, if you see a cool package, if you see a, 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 a guy, you know, a figure, and, and he looks cool in the package... You know, he'll probably be cool, you know, once you get him out the package. Um, but the same thing can't be said for, you know, if you see a, somebody's uh, figure in the package and then he looks kind of bad, but you get him out the package and then your uh, perspective uh, changes. Um, that would, That's what it was like for uh, the last Spawn figure that I reviewed, Rotar, which I didn't think I would like, but he actually, I actually like him and he actually grew on me. Uh, now this figure, I'm not saying it has a reverse effect where I thought, yeah, he looked cool in in the package, but when I get him out, I'm not really pleased. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not pleased, but I do wish the that one downside about this figure is that his arms are so enclosed. You know what I mean? That it can't his his arms can't ex extend out to the side, which that's kind of a disappointment, guys. And this waist swivel, uh, I don't know. Well, if you move his arms out like that, well, yeah, okay, maybe if you move his arms out like that, because if you move his arms out back, they actually extend out backwards. So, okay, okay, I'm a little bit more pleased now with this figure. <laughs> but if you do that, it's very hard for him to stand, so you might have to get him a base or something, because he doesn't stand if you put his... Uh, fist out like that. You have to bring his fist in like so to actually even out his the balance for him to stand. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to give you my review of this figure. Um, let me see. There's a reason why there's a waist swivel. So let's take a, take a look at this waist swivel. Okay. Uh, bend tentacles in any direction. Both arms rotate. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got that attached arm cannons, okay. Waist rotates in full circle, okay, so it rotates in the full circle. Okay, so that's pretty much it, you know, you thought, you think, you know, Creech would have some kind of gimmick, but he really doesn't. He, he does rotate all the way around, but I guess you can use that kind of a, as a power punch. So, let's do a review uh, of this guy. We're already ten minutes into the video. Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, with uh, 10 being the highest, um, I'm not too impressed with this figure. I mean, the sculpture is pretty good. You know, I've seen better sculptures of the Creech. Um, but, you know, he's not bad. I don't... I, I, I was thinking about giving him a 6, but I can't. I understand this is a 90s figure and articulation is not going to play a big role in this uh, review. Um, I don't want to give him a, a low 6, but uh, because the sculpture overall is very unique and it's very different and it's very nice. So I'm going to give him what I've been giving, <laughs> what I've been giving my other figures. Uh, you know, a 7 would be too high because he's not that great i mean overall he he is nice he is a statue piece i mean that's what all spawn figures are uh his head doesn't rotate because it's kind of in his uh in his body so um yeah i'm gonna give this guy another 6.75 if you guys been uh, watching this, uh my uh reviews of action figures that's kind of what i've been giving you know some of my action figures that i've been reviewing. Uh, I think this is like the third time in a row that I gave an action figure a 6.75. And the reason why is because, you know, it's 7 is, is too high because he's not that great, but he is very nice. He's very nicely sculpted. A 6 would be too low. A 6.5 doesn't seem right, so a 6.75 just seems right with this figure. Um, very nicely detailed. But nothing much to him, articulation-wise, and, you know, having these arms, uh, these giant guy, these giant guy, guy, gigantic, is gigantic? Am I saying that right? Guy, uh, I don't know. I'm tripping over my words here. 
uh, gigantic. That's what I'm looking for. Wow. Wow. Wow, Jason. Um, yeah, you can tell that, uh, you know, this figure is not really all that great because you don't see my cat around. Usually when my cat is around, usually that means it's a good figure and he's rubbing up against it. But you can tell that uh, this is not really a great figure and that's why you don't see him anywhere in this video. <laughs> so my cat is the judge. Anakin Skywalker is the judge and you can see that he's nowhere to be found, guys. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, 6.75 uh, review of the Creech from 1998 Series 12. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. You know, if you had this figure yourself and then maybe you have a different opinion on it, leave it, you know, leave your op opinion in the comments. You know, I'm always, uh, I'm always reading the comment section. I always like to hear what you guys say, uh, what you guys uh, write and say. Uh, if you like this. Uh, you know, figure, let me know, you know, and what what you like about him, so, but there you go, there you go, there you go, guys, <laughs> I'm kind of at a lost words, I do like the hair, the hair is the best part of this figure, because it has the most articulation, uh, which, I don't know if that's upsetting, or if that's, or if that's, uh, or if that's a good thing, uh, that his hair has more articulation than the figure it's, it's, it's itself, so, man, I cannot speak today, I don't know. Uh, I've been tripping over my own words all day today. Maybe lack of sleep. But uh, there you go, guys. There is my review of The Creech, 1998. Uh, like I said, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Um, and there you guys have it. You guys can follow me on all social media. And there you go. 1998 Creech Series 12. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!